Hey, good morning fellow trash diggers. I hope everybody's doing well this morning. It's 9.03 a.m. Sunday morning, and I believe I am the first man in human existence to wake up this early on a Sunday morning. It's not terribly cold. It's in the 20s right now, but you can see there's frost on the window. I've got a very important job to do this morning, guys. I've got to get these little pampered chef bowls in some hot water, ashtray included. I want to take them down to those planters this morning and photograph them. All right, so we got this stuff soaking here in the hot soapy water. I'll come check on this in a little bit and then dry them off. Hey, good morning, guys. It's Monday morning. It's 9.21 a.m. and it's 34 degrees outside. I just walked outside a minute ago and it's a little bit brisky. As you guys know, Monday is usually the busiest day since I've got a lot of packing stuff to do, but I actually don't have a whole lot of packing to do. I got some, but not a whole lot. Yesterday I actually broke a five day block where I didn't get any sales over a hundred dollars. Then yesterday was pretty good. I had a hundred and ninety dollar day, which I desperately needed. The van has to go in the shop and I think it might be a bad heater core. Basically most of the money I make goes to fixing that van since I'm not very mechanically inclined. Then anything left is just for living expenses and then I try to put a little bit in the stock market. But it's definitely a grind. But I do have a few things going out. I sold this Braun turbo motor with Bull. I was having a hard time selling it but I ended up working out a deal with a buyer and he paid $40 free shipping and it's going to cost me $15 to ship. So I basically got what I needed. Then I sold this zero water 12 cup pitcher. This thing took a long time to sell. I finally sold it for $25 plus shipping. I think this cost me eight bucks at Savers, so not a huge profit, but at least a few bucks. I picked that Sunbeam Oscar up last week at the thrift store for three bucks. I listed the bowl. It sold for $25 free shipping. We got this Kristen S Soft Curling Iron. I picked this up a few weeks ago over at the local Salvation Army and I sold it for $29.95 plus $9.90 shipping and I think this was $3.50. Sold that for $15 plus shipping. Then we got those Rat Masters set of two aluminum tinfoil and plastic dispensers. I picked these up at Savers for I think $2.99 a piece and they sat around for a very long time and somebody finally came in and bought them for $39.95 plus shipping. I listed these mouse traps and they sold the same day for $14.95 free shipping. I paid two bucks for them so I guess this could be considered a bolo so if you see this for cheap maybe pick it up. I took an offer on this progressive nut chopper it sold for $13.25 with free shipping I paid two bucks for that at the local Salvation. And then last but not least I sold this vintage 90's Sony D-SJ15 Discman. This thing sat around since April 2019. It works but has a poor display. And this is one of those things where if you try to sell something as is or parts and it's not something spectacular it's going to sit around for a long time and not sell for very much. Like this one. It sold for $8 and $5.95 shipping. Good riddance. And then I have a few things I have to get done today. I want to get this yarn listed. I gotta check out these movies and the books. I want to get that stuff listed. There's some bowls there. Those knives are photographed and basically all that stuff from last week that I bought is pretty much photographed. It's all in this bin right here. It just needs to be listed. I even photographed that ink and calligraphy stuff. I haven't done the wigs though. I'm probably going to go to the thrift store today, but I'm trying to get a few things done first. I'm going to pack these up and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Well, hello again. It is 3.43 and I did not even have time to check in with you guys today at the thrift store because I stayed inside the whole day. The thrifting was actually fantastic today. You guys can't really tell, but I filled up an entire big bag full of nonsense. And I even got it for a really good deal. That's going to be my advice for today, guys. There's not enough kindness in the world, so treat people with kindness. You never know how they might react to it. I think you should definitely be kind to the thrift store workers, especially if you're going to be in there all the time like I am. Although most people don't have the patience to hang out in thrift stores the way I do, but I feel most at home while in one. Anywho, I'm going to go inside and start a pot of coffee 
and I'll show you guys what I picked up later. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hey, how's it going, guys? It's 10.39 p.m. Monday evening, and I'm over here at the photo table just going through some of the things that I bought today. I gotta say, guys, I feel like I had a pretty good day at the thrift shop today. It wasn't, it wasn't even really all that busy until the end. I walked around from about 12.30 till 3, so about two and a half hours. I was feeling pretty energetic today, so I wanted to just get some good exercise. And I ended up finding some good things as they were getting put out. On all this stuff I'm getting ready to show you, I spent a total of $23. First thing I picked up was this Poo and Friends stamp set. It was $2.50. Looks like the comps are about $14 to $15 on this. I got this box of Turbo Seal replacement rolls. It was $2.50. There's only three in here, but it looks like a set of three is going for around $16 plus shipping. I got two of these bags, and they're for champagne. I've sold similar items like these in the past by the same company, so I decided just to get them. And it looks like they sell for $12, $13 plus shipping. I guess it depends on availability at the time. They were $1 a piece. I picked up this cool vintage Sony Walkman radio. I was really excited because it came with a pair of vintage headphones. About six months ago, I said to myself, I wonder when the next time I'm going to find an actual set of Sony white or yellow headphones. And the day has come. It was three bucks for those. And the Walkman itself is going for about $25. And it looks like the headphones go for nearly $25 shipped as well. I don't mind putting $24.95 on mine and just waiting for them. The really good ones are the ones that look like that but are actually yellow. Those actually sell for more, I believe. I used to find those all the time, but it's been a while. I think that was a fantastic find at three bucks. I found this three little girls ornament kit. I had to dig around a little bit, but they're selling for about ten dollars. This was 75 cents. I thought this is a really good find. This is a Kingston Turbo Mouse Pro. It was three bucks. And it also comes with this extra part, and I haven't seen any other listings that have this, so i got to do more research. You've got people asking 150 plus shipping, one guy's asking 120 but it doesn't really look like they're selling for that much. Looks like you had somebody sell one for 30 one sold one for $64, one sold one for 30 45 Here's one that sold for 80 bucks. so we'll just have to kind of check it out. First thing I'll have to do is test it out. But I think that was a great price. Let me know what you guys think. This is a set of Cost Titanium headphones. These are actually really nice. I've sold these in the past. I didn't look them up, I just bought them. They were only a dollar. Looks like they're only selling right now for about 15 to 20. I have sold these for more though, I do remember that, but it has been a while. I picked this up for three bucks. It's a Clarity phone, and Clarity phones are made usually for people that have hearing impairment or elderly. It looks like one sold recently for $70 new, so I probably won't be able to get $70, but I'll check out the battery, and I'm thinking I could probably get about $40 for it. These are uh, pet safe wire and flags. One of the boxes is new, the other is open, but I don't believe it's actually been used. I'm going to have to do a little more research. I paid around $10 for them. At best, I might be able to get 50 bucks for both boxes, free shipping. At worst, I'll get a $10 education. I found these two Case Logic CD cases for a buck a piece. I was actually surprised when I saw how much they sell for. Looks like in brand new condition, they sell for about $19 a piece. So that should be pretty good. I saw this action figure sitting on the shelf. It's a librarian action figure. It's got some damage to the packaging. It was uh, $2. When I looked up the comps, I was really surprised. When I looked it up, I saw all these people selling for like 75 and 70 I'm like, there's no freaking way. Then I saw that 22 I'm like, yep. But then when I saw these actual solds, I was like, huh, 12 dollars one sold for 20 one sold for 10 22 plus shipping. So it looks like they sell for between 13 and $20 plus shipping. I still think that's a pretty good deal for 2 bucks. I also picked up these two Pepsi cups. They're the decent ones. They're made by Carlisle. They're restaurant quality. They're made in the USA. This is the kind of cup you'd see at Pizza Hut. Like the real deal. I found those in the 25 cent bin. They don't sell for very much. I think I'll probably be able to get like six or seven bucks plus shipping on the two of them. The thing is, I think they'll sell pretty quickly. That's why I got them. I don't mind just making five dollars on something if I don't have to do a whole lot of work to it. 
it's just extra money in the bank. So that's about it guys. Nothing spectacular, but there was some bread and butter. I'll probably be going back tomorrow. Since we're in the winter time, I'm trying to stock up as much as I can. Gotta have the inventory. When we get another big snowstorm, I'll have stuff that I can list to keep me occupied. Plus I got the FOMO real bad. That's the fear of missing out. It's a real thing guys. I should be going to therapy for it. Anyway my friends, I think I'm gonna edit this video, get it up, and talk to you guys tomorrow. If you guys wouldn't mind giving me a like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Talk to you later.